All right, so last time we talked about all these relationships that we have here. And so what we can do is we can combine all of these relationships into one equation, right? So one equation is gonna tell us all of this uh, information. And that's known as the ideal gas law, right? Um, so we'll go over what an ideal gas is in a minute, but the equation is PV equals NRT. So you wanna go ahead and just uh, memorize this one. It's not that hard, PV equals NRT. Let's see what all of them mean. This one right here is pressure. This one right here is volume. This one right here is number of moles. So P is pressure, V is volume, N is number of moles. This R is just a constant. So it's called the gas constant. And we'll go over that in a second. And then this one right here is temperature. Cool. So let's go over what the ID or what the uh, gas constant is. So the most used gas constant we're going to use is 0 0.08206. And that's only four sig figs. So it's not an exact number. And then the units here are liters, atmospheres, over moles, Kelvin, right? So you have to make sure that your units are gonna be the same, right? right. Make sure units are same. So what am I talking about when I say that? Well, if you're talking about pressure here, you can see the unit of pressure here is in atmospheres. So this P better be in atmospheres or you need to change this gas constant. You need to change one of them. V, we can see here V volume is in liters. So that number must be in liters or you gotta change the gas constant. And here kind of logically number of moles. And then, I don't think they got that. Temperature, temperature has to be in Kelvin, right? So uh, the trick here is, you know, you just gotta know this equation, mostly just plugging and chugging type of problems, but just make sure everything's in the right unit. So this is called the ideal gas law. What's an ideal gas? Well, it's one that behaves according to this model. <laughs> so one that behaves according to the model, right? So this is what we do a lot in chemistry. We make a model of the physical world. We say, oh, this is approximately what it looks like. This is approximately what happens. And then, um, you know, real life deviates that from a little bit, but our model is pretty close. And so this model is true of most gases. At We'll call them normal conditions. We'll get a more defined answer later. Um, really where it falls apart is in high pressure. High pressure, right? So, um, but this, this law is actually very good, uh, predicts most of the properties of gases. And so let's take a look at the types of problems you could be asked. There's kind of three main ones. I'm just gonna write PV equals NRT. The first type of question is just a qualitative kind of question. So for example, you could say, what happens to T as volume increases, right? And so the first thing obviously you wanna do is write, write your equation PV equals NRT. And then you wanna kind of think about what you're talking about here. So volume, right, volume increasing, this one's over here. And then temperature right over here, right? And we're saying that volume is increasing. So what happens when volume increases? And so the other part of this question that you have to assume is that all these other ones are staying constant, right? So the pressure is constant, the N is constant, the R is constant. So you have kind of a number equals a number. 
and these two have to be the same because everything else is staying constant. And so what happens when you increase this number? Well, you gotta increase this number as well. So as volume increases, temperature also increases. Let's do one more example. So what happens to pressure when volume increases, right? So same thing, volume increasing, but now we're have, asking what, hap, what is happening to pressure. And remember, you're assuming everything else is staying constant. Let's identify our variables. So volume over here, and we're saying that volume is increasing. And then we're asking what's happening to pressure. Well, if you think about like a number times a number, which is what we have here, equals some constant, equals some constant, right? Because the NRT, we're assuming that's constant. So if one number increases, in order for this number to not change, the other one must decrease. So arbitrarily, you know, plug in numbers and see what you have to do when one increases or decreases. So as volume increases, pressure decreases. Uh, so you can think of these in terms of the equation mathematically, or you can kind of try to logic your way through it. Hey, if I know this, then I know that type of thing. 